with all that bait. So we got mullet. They're the brown ones. The green ones are ballyhoo. And on the bottom, we got some grunts. We got three different kinds of live bait. Now we're gonna head out and see what we can find. Hopefully we catch a big fish. All right, here's something a little unusual. We got a uh, tugboat cruising along in front of us here. Sure is a clean looking boat, but he's not towing anything unless it's back there 16 miles. All right, I just got hooked up on the front here. I put the first five, six cranks on it. Captain Lou's got it here now. Got a little red. There he is. There's the first grouper of the day. He ate a ballyhoo. I had a ballyhoo down. He's not quite big enough. What's how big does he have to be? 20 inch. He's got to be 20 inches, and this guy there is 15 incher. Yep. But so we're gonna send him free. Alrighty. So you can see. He came up from the bottom fairly quick. He's got a little barotrauma going on in there. That's his swim bladder. We just got hammered. And I think we're gonna come up with nothing. Hopefully there's a hook still on the end of it. There we go. He's on. He's on. You're on, yeah. He's got him. All right. It's not very big, but he ate another ballyhoo. It might be a yellowtail. Let's see what it is. Is there a shark behind it? Oh, no, it's a yellowtail. Big yellowtail. Big yellowtail. Look at that guy. Ate a ballyhoo. Look at the size of that guy. Big old flag yellowtail. That's a Key Largo flag. Good job, Mikey. All right. All right, Captain Lou is just throwing a jig out there. Seems to be working. Let's see what he's got. Something's coming in. As slow as this one's coming. It's lucky we haven't been getting shark today. A little red. It took some line, so it's coming up too. It ran on you? Yeah. Here it comes. Lou's doing good. I don't have color yet. Big Big yellow tail. Look at the size of that guy. I got the weight. That's a yellow tail. Look at the size of that Key Largo flag. Man, look at that. He is huge. That's as nice a yellow tail as I've ever seen. I think the biggest one I ever caught was about 24. How big is he? Probably 22, 23. Yeah, he's a big fish. He's a big fish. Look at that guy. Huge. Good job. Nice tail. Nice fish. Nice tail. Here you've got a chicken rig. Chicken rig. Chicken rig? And you and you're jigging it. Nope. Nope. Drop it to the oh, you dropped it to the bottom. Yeah, then you don't let it scope and you bring it back up and do it again. You give it like two, three shots until you drift away and then Oh, I was watching I actually thought you current. I actually thought you had a butterfly jig on the way you were fishing that. So what you're doing is letting it set in exactly the same place right now? Yeah. So you're feeling it scope out? And I don't feel anything, so I'm gonna reel up a little. Okay. It's already scoped out pretty hard. I need yeah. to cast up current. Or we need to put a drift sock out. Next drift, we'll do a drift sock, see if it makes a difference on the bike too. Next. How fast are we moving? We're not well, drifting there. Almost two. Almost two? Captain Lou Selfish on Instagram has a chicken rig down there on the bottom with a chunk of ballyhoo. All right, now we're doing something. We're still fishing the same, but we've done it a little different now. Captain Lou put out a drift sock. So it will slow us down. We were drifting almost two miles an hour. So now with this sock out, let's come back here and check our drift. Who's on back here in the back? He's fishing the chicken rig, dropping it down. Let's see what he's got this time. It came off. But he's still got his still got his chunk bait. As soon as I got down there. Got a chicken rig down on the bottom, chunk of ballyhoo. 
We're drifting at about one mile an hour, so he doesn't have to work it very hard on the chicken rig. But you can't let it bounce across the bottom or you will get rocked up. You're more likely to get caught on the spin something on the spinner. But we're waiting for one of these deep drop rods to go off. They're fishing uh, one and two pound weights down on the bottom. So take a look at that. Let's see it bend over right now. That'd make me happy. You getting bit? There we go. He's on. Did you see that? All right. We saw him get bit. Probably another yellow tail. Yep, here he comes. Keeper. He's a keeper. You got him? Mm -hmm. All right. This is a keeper. Look at the size of the last one we caught. I think Mike probably got robbed back there. He had a pretty good bite. Louie got hit a couple of times. He probably doesn't have any bait either. Nice parts. Yeah, that was a good bite. All right. You looking for a, another mullet? Yeah, a bigger mullet. A big mullet? A bigger. Ain't much bigger. Nope. That's a nice one right there. Let's get all the bait in here. There we go. Hey, got a Uber for sure. So Two you, strikes. You're hooking from under the jaw and up through the nose, just mm -hmm. like that. And back here, we're fishing the chicken rig. So it looks like, what, eight ounces of weight there maybe? Mm -hmm. And a uh, chunk of ballyhoo. Captain Lou's gonna get hooked up here. I can feel it. I'd prefer if Mike's went off on a big black grouper though. There he goes, hooked up. That's how you do it. another yellow tail probably a little, bigger. a little bigger than the last one nice fish it's a keeper look how Mike can do this sandwich in one hand trigger in the other this grouper does not have a chance oh. he's on he is on Mike is Mike is fighting hard. Look at this. The fish got a bite. Mike got a bite. I lost my bait. All right, Captain Lou is on. Another yellow tail, something different. I don't know, it feels a little different. Now we got a tail. Nice size yellow tail. Not bad. Yeah, keepers. All we've caught is keepers. Check out that. We're getting a bucket of yellow tails. We want some groupers. Deep water yellow tail, boy. How deep are we fishing today, right now, Captain? 115. What? 115 to 120 feet. It's dropping the chicken rig down. We're drifting at about one mile an hour. We keep getting grouper bites, but we're losing them. They're letting go. We're not getting hooked up. I don't know what's going on, but it won't go on forever. We got a nice one on now. Start cranking so it don't ever stop. Here he comes. Take 
This is a nice fish. It's going to be a grouper of some sort. I don't think so. No. Maybe a mutton. Maybe a big mutton? Mutton, maybe. Or a shark, or a king, or a cobia, or a pox of pompano. Or a plastic bag. Nah. All right, here it comes. It's coming up. There he is down there. We've got color. It's a good sized fish. Don't know what it is. Check that out. What is that, Captain Lou? An amberjack. It's a baby amberjack. Not really what we're after, but. Are, are you sure? Messed up my sandwich. Are you sure it's not a big Almaco? Uh, it looks like an amber. See how this is a little Ford? Okay. And yep. they gotta be 27 inches and on. All right. Get the gaff, Mike? Might be another AJ, but I don't know. So I got bit. I put the first 10 cranks on it. And then. Right here. Captain Lou's got it. Oh. oh. It was another amberjack. Yeah, it was, right? Yep. And he just pulled off, pulled the hook. It was an amberjack. I saw the color. Yeah, it looked like a jack. All right. Lou thought he was stuck on the bottom because we just fought the amberjack to the surface. He came back, picked his rod up, and he's hooked up. Oh, I think it just got it off. just came off. Yeah, it just came off. Right there. All right there. All right, oh, awesome. Captain Lou is on again. It was a bigger off. fish and he came off. All right, this one might've been bumped back there. I'm filming here at the back and I'm watching mine because... Oh. oh, he saw that. What a bite. I got it on film. We'll be able to see later. From the back of the hook through the eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice Come tag in. Pinch it at the top so it comes over. Come around one, two, three. So you wrap your finger. Okay. Turn it and pass it through and, and under. pass it. Okay. So you're still pinched. Mm -hmm. Three okay. loops and then back through your loops that were around your finger. And then I turn the last two. Okay. And then I kind of let it glide. And it cinches down on and itself. It cinches down. You just got to kind of make sure it doesn't go through the eye. Or and you called that eye. a figure eight knot earlier? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Lou. Look. It's yep. nice and clean. We just got cut off by something. Kingfish or shark, probably. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go see if I can find another value. So, Mike, how would you describe this day going? The bite today. How would you bait, describe that? Eight days so far. Lots, okay. lots of bait. Lots of bait? Lots of bait. Oh, we got a few bites. We've got some action. We got some yellowtail to eat. <laughs> yep, we got dinner. Thanks to Louie. That's always a good thing. Yellowtail for dinner. Hey, if you're liking these videos, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, hit the like button, do all that stuff. Help me keep these videos coming. All right, I just dropped a uh, butterfly ballyhoo down. Oh, got a nice little king. There we go. Got a king mackerel. There we go. Nice king mackerel. Got him on the drop. All right. Louie just dropped about a 40-yard uh, leader on. Thinking he was going to get a mutton. Let's see what comes up. Another king. All right, that mutton rig got us another king. Good job, guys. There he is. He's on. Mikey is on. Don't know what this one's going to be. Oh, 
comes the weight. An Atlantic sharp nose shark. We got an Atlantic sharp nose. You can tell by the white spots on his body. There he is. Beautiful fish. And there he goes. Drop the weight in the holder so it's not bouncing off of Mike's boat. And something cleaned my hook. All right, I just got hooked up. We got a really long leader on here, hoping for a mutton snapper. We wanted a we wanted a monster, but here he comes. Oh yeah, here he comes. Look at that mutton snapper. Is that a nice mutton? What do you think? Little baby amberjack. What's he doing here? There he goes. We're going to send him away. And look at the beautiful backdrop with the storm clouds out there. We got Mike there. He is ready to reel on this mutton snapper. That, that's usually a mutton. If you have a little tap, they just pick it up. There it is. Mike is on. He's got a good one. Good job, Mike. Thirty pound test, so you know. There you go. Good job, Mike. Yeah. He's a nice one. He is a nice one. Yeah. Set your rod down, Louis, so you can hand line this in, so I can keep filming. If you would, please. All right, we're getting him up here to the surface. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Good job. Here comes the weight. No, one more. That's it. All right. Here he comes. There he is out there. He's a keeper. Yep. Keeper mutton. Good job. Bite here in the back. Here we go, we're getting a bite here in the back. Let's see what happens. Muttons, pick them up, play with it, spit it out, move it around, and then they'll come back and eat it. There he is. There he is. We're 134 feet of water, that's a bite. There's the bite. We're getting a bite on there. Yeah. Looking promising. Oh, there he is. Oh, I there, sexy, baby. Dropping back, just I missed him. Yeah. Okay, Captain Lou's getting bit in the back. Yep, there's a bite. There he is. What a beautiful shot with the sun setting back there. There he is. Captain Lou's on. Good job. We got him coming. He's not that small. He's a real fish. All right. My big keeper. All right, Captain. Yep. Yeah. I'll get you one in a minute. Captain Lou's got one coming up. Here comes the color. Little guy. There we go. He's getting a bite. All right. The wind never ever really calmed down today. The forecast said it was going to. We still have plenty of bait. We're gonna throw those in the pen when we get back to the dock and hopefully they stay alive for a few days. There's the sun setting here. It's beautiful here in Key Largo. I'd love to have you guys come fish with me. Follow me, Cousin Jim. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, ring that bell so you get notifications. 
I'm out here fishing for you, with you. I hope you're enjoying them.